Good day and welcome to the Project Palm. My name is Gunnhildur, I'm in Iceland, I live in Iceland and this is my podcast, vlog, chat type of thing where I talk about yarn, about knitting, crocheting, fibres, anything I learned from regarding that because I'm still learning and fibres are interesting. I also talk quite a bit about the weather because I'm your stereotypical middle-aged Icelander and the weather is interesting. Speaking of... Winter arrived again. <laughs> so yeah, we had, uh, what was it like? And my short term memory or long term memory is mm, ridiculous. Um, I think it was like the later half of February was so nice. There was no snow. We had warmth. We had just absolute coziness. And then King Winter is like, hang on, I'm not done. <laughs> so yeah, we are absolutely a winter wonderland yet, yet again. And uh, it's been freezing. Um, it's kind of hilarious in a way. Like we were looking at the bright side here. Um, but like one Monday, um, we have plus eight degrees Celsius. The Monday after that is minus eight degrees celsius um uh, plus windy so most mornings when i've been getting out to you know go to work i have ended up weeping from the cold like on friday i believe it was about <sighs> minus nine or minus ten plus wind not nice it's painful <laughs> to say the least i think it was like that or it might even not have been that, but like the winter chill made it really, really, really winter chill? Wind chill. Um, the chilling effect was, in any case, horrendous. So, not nice. So far, winter has been not that bad, I think. Um, all things considered, we still have not had an, um, a volcanic eruption this year. Um, and the fact that that's my measuring stick. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's my measuring stick. Is there an active volcano? No? The things are good. <laughs> well, um, Timon. Timon's awake. Um, but yeah, so. Hi, hello, good morning, afternoon, wherever. So, um, I still have not worn on the ends on my Horizon Granny cardigan. I think that's what it's called. Um, but still, I am so very, very much in love with it. I am so proud of it. The colors are fantastic. Um, I'm actually bringing this up, not just because I'm still working on the Aishon's version, the one with the Angora Elite. That's not Timon. Oh, that's one on the second floor. Anyway, um, yeah, still working on this version, still on the first half of um, the cardigan to be. Um, I'm mentioning this because twofold. So we had one lady over this morning to attend to my mother, um, as is needed. And of course I went and said hello and showed her the cardigan and she really likes doing crochet. She does a lot of crocheting. Um, like she's going to traveling, uh, I think tomorrow. She's actually leaving the country for somewhere warmer for a little while. And she does a lot of crocheting for like the thing that you put around particular children's necks and um, when they're eating so that they don't make an absolute mess of things i want to say no i'm not going to say a word because i'm scared of it being wrong but i think you know what i mean um so she crochets a lot of that when she's traveling because it's nice light and doesn't get in the way of anything. And then I showed her the cardigan and she's like, 
can I get the bun? <laughs> so of course I went to Hoppy and uh, wrote down the URL which thankfully with Hoppy is really really short with the buttons. It's literally just hoppy.com slash um, horizon the line thing cardigan. Really simple, really easy. So I managed to write that one down uh, on a small note and give it to her. But of course then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm on a hobby base, so I noticed that they have a birthday sale. One of their very, very frequent sales, so I went to check it. In my defense! <laughs> In my defense! I did want to check out the more of the Horizon yarn. Um, and most of it is sold out, like this color is sold out. Um, but there was another color that was really, really summery. So I bought enough to make another of these cardigans. I have a plan. Um, I also got, they had this, um, like a set of crochet hooks that are from two millimeter up to, I think like six millimeter, which is good because I keep being in need of like three and a half millimeter and three millimeter for some reason. So, and also they're just continuing that particular one. So, and it's it's like this, it's a cute little set, and it's in this um, container wallet type of thing, and it's pink. So obviously I had to get it. Also discount, even better. Um, so I got some Horizon. I got that crochet set, and I also ordered um. A yarn that's called Butterfly. Yeah, it's called Butterfly. Really, really lovely colors. Looks similar to the Horizon. So there's a fourth cardigan in there. <laughs> and I also bought another color of the Kind Feather because um, the colors that are ordered in the Butterfly and the second Horizon, they are more. You know, summary, they both have um, yellows and those type of colors. So I think that the um, kind of feather that I have, this is more this off-white, this kind of like more milky, creamy white, just wouldn't go there. So I ordered a light yellow kind of feather, so that I can add the cardigans. I found a new pattern that I love. And I keep influencing people to make the same cardigans because it is so fascinating. Like you are working on... Well, pulling back for one thing. Oh well, easily fixed. Um, you literally just... Words. But like you are crocheting this weird six-sided thing and then when you put it together, it just falls into place. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Look at the colors. It's gonna be so cool. And because it's something that, it, yet again, it's a really simple pattern that you don't need to use your brain cells for. And we all know, know how much I love patterns where you don't need to think. I love that. And the fact that I am so proud of this one is just, I'm on a mission. So I've got those two others to work on and that might maybe end up either as gifts or if not, they, they will be useful. Ah, da, 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 da. Now the Knit Night project that I'm currently working on is this sweater. Um, mind you, this original yarn that is what's it called again? Patagonia by Lana Gatto. Um, I'm pretty certain sure it's a cotton blend. Uh, don't have Lana Gatto here, so what I decided to use instead is Drops Air. And this lovely foggy, minty, palish green. I love it. 
um, the color variation. You might actually be able to notice it now because we got a little bit of sun and she's hiding between, behind a little bit of a cloud cover so you might be able to see the delicate color in this yarn. And I'm still on the first skein <laughs> of this sweater. I've got a little bit more done. I'm literally only working on this on knit nights. Um, I'm loving the fact that I have an excuse to use every single variety of stitch markers that I have. I've got my pink sheeps. I've got my set of knitting queen. And I had to buy these. <laughs> The hearts with the cute little nurse's cap. I had to because I needed to fit into um, the stitch markers because I'm then using the stitch markers that I got from the advent calendar to mark off the pattern on the front. I have a pattern and I'm sticking to it. I have a pattern to the stitch markers but you might actually be able to see the color changes in this yarn. I, I love it. It's just it's such a pretty color. Um, but again, the original yarn in the original pattern is pretty sure it's a cotton blend and Drops Air is a alpaca, polyamide and wool blend. So it's completely different. So at the end of it, I might need to like stretch it out or something. In order to get the pattern on the front like a little bit more obvious. I mean that's probably something that I need to do. I'm actually gonna keep this up here because I also got dropped alpaca mix which everyone around me keeps raving about and I found these two skeins of this. These were the only only ones of this color combination in the store. Um, it's a color 8120. I even went online with drops and they don't have this color. So I'm like, unique, nice. But yeah, these are 100% alpaca. They are really, really soft. I'm like, this is delightful. And the pattern that I'm gonna be using because I, did the same thing. If I don't find a pattern, I'm not buying the yarn. So therefore I found the pattern. And it's this nice um, neckerchief. Which I think will be absolutely delightful. And also, when you've got this pale like sweater base, this a little bit stronger color. I mean, we'll see, but I think those are gonna look real nice together. But I then I also found the Drops Kit Silk, which again, let me look at the color. It's a gorgeous one. This is Mohair and Silk Blend. And it's color 17. Absolutely delightful. So, got two of those. Mind you, when I'm on knit nights and I buy yarn from a lo my local yarn store, the coffee shop, I get a 20% discount because I'm in the knit, knit night group. So that's further insensitive. I do prefer to do my best to also buy from my local businesses. So I do try my best to... If I'm not buying yarn, I'm at the very least buying like food and drink. Um, so I'm putting money into the business. The fact that she also has so many lovely, lovely colors and yarns that I just absolutely fall in love with, kind of beside the point. But yeah, the pattern that I found for this lovely, lovely color and lovely, lovely soft, soft silk mohair blend is a ridiculously simple. Um, another shawl called the pink soda shawl and um, it has like a picot um, edge never done picot 
So that's going to be interesting. Mm. Fire Slide. Pretty much beginner friendly, I feel. Um, because you knit in garter stitch. And garter stitch is just the best stitch to work with when you're, you know, a beginner, I feel. Um, there's nothing. Yeah, pretty simple. So that's gonna be very, very interesting. Hopefully another one where I don't really need to use my brain. We'll see. Um, but as for this color, I think it's gonna go really, really nice with the sweater. So yeah, um, I'm barely done with like the color of this thing and I'm barely moving down to the shoulders, but I'm already planning the accessories. <laughs> Uh, and I can't, like, hmm, I can't wait to get these things done. Um, this, again, is such a nice thing to be working on when I'm sitting with the others and just having a chat, relaxing, unwinding from work, from the work week. Um, just, yeah, having a laugh, having a conversation is so, so nice. This pattern is really nice so far and it really fits into what well, I want to be working on on night so I can you know work on something or not need to think you all know what I think about thinking so yeah I think that's pretty much it right now no wait sorry because we are technically in spring, technically not in spring, we are at this like confusing little part of the year that is very, very common. What I also want to get thinking about is I really want to make some flowers because I kind of want this um, like every year. I want to make a flower crown and since I have this wonderful book, which I'm pretty certain that is actually owned by my mother. And I have um, a lovely selection of yarns. It would be really nice to make my own flower crown. I have knitted or crocheted with yarn that I already have because I have it. And just make it myself. And the other book that I rediscovered is this one, the 75 Crochet Floral Blocks. Um, this look really interesting. And now that I'm a little bit more comfortable with crocheting, I might start reaching for this one a little bit more. But yeah, I think that's enough for me this weekend. I need to fix what I managed to unravel in this one. <laughs> And yeah, so I will hopefully see you again next weekend. I really hope you had fun listening to me rumble. I at the very least have a lot of fun rumbling. And yeah, I hope that life is as good to you as it can possibly be and hopefully better. And I will hopefully see you again next weekend. And let's cross our fingers and really hope that no volcano becomes active. It's been working so far. Let's stick to it. So again thank you for watching and i'll see you again next weekend okay take care bless bless